Alphametics, getting started on the Send More Money puzzle. Today we're going to do, or more accurately start to do, a puzzle called an Alphametic. A kind of code with numbers and equations instead of just letters. Here's what Wikipedia has to say. Traditionally, each letter should represent a different digit and as in ordinary arithmetic notation, the leading digit of a multi-digit number must not be zero. A good puzzle should have a unique solution, and the letters should make up a phrase, as in the example above, send plus more equals money. You have probably seen coded messages where one letter stands for another. These puzzles work almost exactly the same way, except that each letter here stands for a digit from 0 through 9. And when you solve the puzzle, the numbers you get form some kind of an equation. In this case, you have two four-digit numbers that add up to a five-digit number, with the condition that the M in more will be the same as the M in money, the O in more will be the same digit as the O in money, the N in send will be the same digit as the N in money, and the E in send will be the same digit as the E in more. And money while we're at it. Like most alphabetics, send plus more equals money is a fairly long problem. It takes about 20 minutes to go through all the steps. So for this video, we are just going to do the first few terms to show you how to get started. When doing a puzzle on pretty much or pretty much any kind of problem, it's always a good idea to take a close look at what the conditions that you have to meet are. In this case, look at the part where it says the leading digit of a multi-digit number must not be zero. The leading digit of send and the leading digits of more and money are M and S. So that means M and S must be greater than zero. Now, let's try to establish boundaries. In this problem, what's the biggest number that the sum money can be. Well, the biggest four-digit number period is 9,999. So the biggest five-digit number you can get by adding two four-digit numbers is 19,998. Now we know our number has to be smaller than that. And we know that M has to be greater than zero. And we just saw that M has to be at most 1, so M equals 1. Now let's work on the O. We know that M is 1, so we can plug that in now and work with it. The biggest four-digit number is 9,999. The biggest four-digit number that starts with 1 is 1,999. If you add those two together, you get 1,998. So, the biggest number zero can be would be one. And since one is already taken, O equals zero. Now we get to the more difficult part. Good news is that once you've mastered this, the rest of the puzzle will be a lot easier. Probably the biggest challenge is figuring out when you are carrying a 1. For example, to find S, we need to know if there's a 1 carried from the previous column. So you have a little green arrow at the top our way of showing that one was carried. 
if there was a one carry, <laughs> we have one plus s plus one equals 10 or s equals eight. Take a second and look at that, make sure that makes sense to you. If we don't have a one carried, then that would leave us s plus one equals 10 or s equals nine. So let's think about s equals eight. We only carry when the digits in the previous column add up to at least 10. So let's look at that column. It's e plus zero equals n. Now we know that there had to be a one carried from the previous column, the n plus r equals e, because otherwise e plus zero would just be e. It wouldn't be a different number. So that leaves us one plus e plus zero, because we've got the one carried over from the n plus r and e plus zero. But that would only work, uh, I mean, that would only produce carrying if e were equal to nine. Well, if e was nine, one plus nine plus zero would be zero. That would make n zero and zero is taken. So that leaves us with s equals nine. Three down, five to go. Now, admittedly, those five are a little bit more difficult than what we just did, but you'll use the same basic tools to get those as well. They just take a little patience. If you want to see the full solution to the problem, check out the next video. As always, for more videos, tips, resources, you can join the conversation at You Do the Math K through Calculus.